Hey guys, welcome back to another episode on the Far Side server. And we today are going to actually make this Rubik's Cube functional. Sleep, sure. Sure, let's go let's go to sleep for for him. Hopefully oh that reminds me. I got to get my um in. I have to get my uh <laughs> I have to get my uh whatchamacallit. I gotta get my potions because there's been people coming on and off this morning about four or five times. Four or five different people. So I gotta make sure that I have these potions on me at all times just in case if they decide to come through that portal. Because I haven't been to the instant, instant health regen, instant health splash. Okay, instant health. There we go. Because I haven't been to the, uh, I went to Death Games when I first got on. But. Uh, Boo was in there, so I gotta make sure that uh, I stay on top of that because I don't want to get jumped. I just don't want to. I want to get killed. I want to get kills. I don't want people to kill me. But what we're doing today is we're gonna make this uh, mob farm functional. Now I didn't. Or this mob farm would give away what you're doing. I want to make this uh, Rubik's cube functional. I was gonna make something where towers kind of went up here and then it dropped through to go to the bottom. But I figured I don't I don't I don't want anything that, like super efficient, um, so I'm just gonna build one of these platform type of ones where they spawn here. And then I'm gonna put a little roof on this thing, and that's all it's pretty much gonna be. So I, uh, you know, I wanted something that didn't like extend. Like I, I don't want to use clay on top of this for for these walls like I'm doing to like because I didn't want it to extend the Rubik's Cube at all, so I wanted something that was very discreet and just kind of, you know, just kind of here. So I figured, I really like this white, I really like the stained glass, and I really, really like the white, white stained glass. And so, just to add depth, I decided to go with panes, and I figured panes would work perfectly fine. Now, you might be saying this isn't the best mob farm. I know it's not the best mob farm, but it's, it's just purely for just a little, whenever I AFK the, uh, Iron Golem farm and stuff, just... Uh, just so that, oops, I'm going to have to break that, aren't I? Because I don't have my silk touch, dang it. Uh, just so, let me turn my volume up a little bit. So that was weird. I had a game crash for some reason, and now my frames are really low. One second. Alright, <laughs> we're good. So, like I was saying, it's just the pains to add depth, and I just am not looking for the most efficient thing, just something kind of nice. Um, so, I decided we're going to just stay with the colors of clay, build a bunch of 3x3 three three platforms here, and just go based off the color of clay. Like I said, I didn't want it to take away from the Rubik's Cube itself, so that's why I'm using the stained glass. Um, and then we'll just, you know, do do the, that good old thing. And then the water will run down. I'll put water down each of these, so then you'll have water coming down here, and then we'll put another one right here, so... Dirt. Okay, I don't want that to break, so we'll just leave that there. Put another one right there, and then we'll have it all filter to the, somehow filter to the center. I'll figure out a way. We'll get it done. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to uh, add, so it should be, <sighs> leave that one. I think I'm supposed to, I'm going to try to get them to go down these aisleways. So let's see how this works out. Go here. Enderman. <laughs> Scared me. I thought it was someone Ender... Or oh, shoot! Am I in the death games? That was an Ender Pearl. That was definitely an Ender Pearl. Now that I think of it. That was definitely an Ender Pearl sound. Definitely... Definitely was an Ender Pearl sound. Did it not sound like an Ender Pearl? After I thought about it, that was not. Am I in the Death Games? What's going on? What's going on? Death Games? Yeah. I don't see anybody. And I have particles on, so I didn't see any particles floating around. Huh. Hmm. 
Hmm. Nothing. That definitely was an Ender Pearl, wasn't it? Let's ask him. Are you here, sugar? Mm -hmm. I swear that was an Ender Pearl. Are you at my base? Huh. Yep, yep, what I tell you, what I tell you, I knew it, 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 I knew it. I, yeah! Woo! <laughs> Woo! Yes! <laughs> yes! Woo! Awesome! <laughs> I knew it! Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Woo! Oh! Let's go get him a chest. <laughs> yes, oh! Oh, man! Woo! That was a good one. That was a good one, Sugar. That was good. That was a good one. Alright, you can take your arrows back. Mmm. Yes. Oh, boy, was that a good one. Woo! Woo! Oh! That gets you going. That gets you going. Alright, there we go. There's all the stuff. Um, I, I didn't have that much steak. Some of that was his. Um, is that everything? That should be everything. I didn't have that many arrows, I only had 22. Whew. How many I get you down? Uh, I was down uh, with the poison, got down to four. I don't know if you hit me with your sword at all. Oh. Whew. I think I'm good, I think I'm good. Yeah, I'm good. Yes, yes, I definitely got that. Yep, got got hit <laughs> with that. Woo! Survived the Death Games kill. That was awesome. Okay. <sighs> Stuff is in chest. Alright, oh. <sighs> now I need to refocus before I get back to that. I'll be back. Alright, so. This is what I decided to do. I got all the glass around so that they can't get out. And uh, what I'm just going to do is I want to keep this like even only four and then kind of keep it like even symmetrical nice. So these middle ones, so this one, that one, that one, and this one are going to be like this. They're going to have two in the middle. So if we go grab enough of this, we go here. That one's got to be open for water than here. I've already seen a couple mobs spawn in the places I've taken away the torches. So at least we know there will be some mobs spawning up here. Now, is it going to be 100% efficient? No. Do I care? Not really. Um, I've never really ever been a guy to get, like, overpower stuff on a game. Like, I like boots because the boots just, oops, wrong one, wrong color. The boots just take forever to, you know, you want, you want those to last. Um, but, like, I like having an economy, so I'm not gonna, you know, I don't want this to be able to be able to, you know, like, get a whole bunch of gunpowder and not be able, because I made that TNT trade with, uh, with Yurit. I don't know if I did that on camera or not, but I bought TNT from Yurit. Like, I, I like having the economy sort of thing, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna try to overpower myself with all this so that I have no, like, you know, no economy. But, I wanna just have it so I have enough, like, especially spider, or I guess spiders aren't gonna spawn in this. The way that's set up. Huh. It, mm, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, spiders aren't spawning. Maybe I should put... Spiders need a 2x2x2 two by two by two area. So maybe if I... Ooh, that's what I'll do. I'll let spiders spawn on these ones. That's what I'll do. I'll let spiders spawn on these ones. They'll be able to obviously walk around on these other platforms then. But this, they can fit down here. So if they if they end up walking that way, um, then I you know, maybe I can get some spider eyes. So we'll, make, we'll just keep that one uh, open. These ones, yeah, all these, all these, these ones I'll keep spider spawnable. Because I, I, I want spider eyes for potions. So, unless there's something bad about it. If there's something bad about me leaving that, let me know in the comments. But, I mean, as far as I'm concerned, I'm going to leave these ones to have spider spawning capabilities. Because I want spiders. I mean, I know I've seen them. I know I've seen these before where people don't want spiders spawning on them. But, I mean, what? why not, right? There we go. Put this one right here. This is a little bit more building than I usually do on an episode, but I kind of wanted to 
try this out just see what I've been uh, watching a lot of people's videos and I've seen a lot of good feedback on people just kind of talking and building and I didn't grab any extra orange oops oops I was supposed to do that I was supposed to grab another orange uh oh uh oh the clay gods are not gonna like me because now I gotta go back and get more clay because I'm gonna be three short four short Five short. Five short. Eight short. I'm eight clay short. Let's do the green since we're here. All right. So let's. Uh. Ooh, I was gonna say I thought that was someone else's name again, but no one else is on. Shigger got off after that kill. So yeah, I I didn't even use my potions. I realized. I like I carry them around for that specific reason, just in case if I feel feel like somebody's here, I can take them. And I'll, I was being a little extra over cautious, which I won't do next time I feel like someone's around me. Um. I won't be that cautious. I'll just throw it down because I have the potion. So there's no reason for me to, you know, be extra cautious about it. Um, what should I do in the center then? Center should probably be the same thing, huh? That, those two. So these these will be able to spawn spiders too. Let's go here, like that. Oh, wrong spot. And I'm going to need more green clay. Now. Oh, no, I got green clay. I got green clay. I was supposed to grab two stacks of each, so I don't know. I must have just... Is this orange? No, that's yellow. So, I don't know what happened. Why I dropped the ball on that. And then, these... I haven't decided what I want to do yet. If I want to just have them drop 29 blocks or whatever. Or if I want to just, like, have them drop... I don't know. Because if I'm having spiders spawn, they need to drop. But, maybe that's why. Do they not have a... Uh, do people not use spiders? Or let spiders spawn because they get caught in the system? That's probably why, huh? That is probably right. We don't need that. We don't need... Uh, because when they try to drop them, they won't drop. I bet you that's why. Now that I just think about it. Because it's not a big enough space for it to drop. Most people dr drop into one-by-ones, but I mean, I'm going to be dropping it a little bit bigger than that, but still... The fact of the matter is, maybe I just won't do spiders. Yeah, we just won't do spiders. Makes things complicated. You know what? You know what? We're gonna we're gonna make spiders. We're gonna let spiders. We'll just put a lava. We'll just put a lava thing right here on top, right here, and then uh, and then just drop them. They they'll at least make it to the lava, and then if they try to come up, they'll burn. You know, it'll work. It'll work. All right, let's uh. Let's put ice where I know I need it as of right now. So if we put, if we break this one and this one, dang it. I was wondering if that was going to happen. All right, we need to break that because we don't want that. Same here, we don't want that right there, so break that. So this one comes right here. If we put one right here we're gonna get the same effect aren't we it's gonna go back that way oh nope okay that pushes that one there that one pushes that one there and that pushes that over there perfect but what about this hmm all right i'm gonna design this water flow a little bit all right so we're running into a little bit of a problem but i think i have a fix for it so if you guys can see i having this little issue with the ice freezes just because of the height of this but just like we did with uh, the, the um, ice machine over there you're able to cover it up with um, a block and so I'm hoping this will this will prevent it from freezing so I'm gonna do this with all of my uh, all of ooh, all of my source blocks I'm gonna do this with and as you guys can see, to get this water to work, I had to build. I have to build these up too high and use the little sign, sign thingamabob to to raise the water and to push it. So that's what it's going to end up being. But this still gives us enough sp space to spawn uh, mobs and whatnot. So um, it'll work out perfectly fine. I just got to raise this up uh, a little bit, and this should be low enough to where. Um, Mobs won't be able to walk on this. 
so we'll be good. They, it's not like they'll be able to walk over here and stuff and whatnot, or be able to walk between these. It'll simply be, um, what did I decide? Did I decide spiders or no spiders? Um, I decided spiders, so we'll leave those. So yeah, so that's what's going on. Let me show you. Let me see if I have any place where I can do it right here. So I've kind of been, um, I've just been going through. This doesn't have, I, I can't lift that up. I can lift this up, though. And I can lift the white up. So we can do this real quick just to show you guys what I what I am doing all. So we should have enough to, uh, maybe not all, to do all of this, but to do, oh, <clears throat> to do the white, we can, we can at least do like a little area of this around here. So I don't think we have enough white, and I'm pretty sure we don't have enough orange to do all, all of these. Might have the orange, but not the white for sure. So if we just do this right here with the white. Oops. You get down. There you go. Yep, we have enough because this is 18. There we go. And there we go. All right, so if we put, put uh, you know, what, we'll leave those off for now. So those are good. Those corner ones are good. So if we um come here with these, like so, and if... I don't even know where I've been putting these. I put one right here. I know that. So that ends up creating this sort of thing where it'll go over there, it'll go over here, which that's all fine and dandy. But then we have an issue right here. So I've been putting a sign right there and a sign right there, putting the ice block right here, breaking it so that water doesn't go that way, but it still pushes this way. And then we're good there. Then we cover it up and we're good. That should be a good spot then. And then... That allows, so there's there, there goes there, there goes there, there goes there. And then when I put ice right there, there's a spot. Put this one there. I've just been kind of pushing, as of right now, everything towards the middle, these big lines. I've just kind of been pushing everything towards that. So if we go here, like that, it won't go that way, and it'll push it farther this way, which this then ends up giving us another issue right here so we have to end up oh i don't have any more signs so we, have, we put another one right here and I've, that's all i've been doing i've just kind of been going through Ooh, let's cover this up i've just kind of been going through and just looking um placing looking okay this goes here this goes here so this is a good spot we just need another one to go here and push it into here um and yeah i'm just you know that's just what i've been doing so i'm gonna go ahead and get some more clay get this thing built on top of this Rubik's cube, and uh, I'll bring you guys back when I have more of this, uh, more of this figured out. <laughs> so you might be saying, "Dude, this looks really efficient," mm -hmm. but this is working. I decided no spiders, um, just because I didn't know if we spawned them on certain places how they would work out, and I just didn't feel like. Because I had to put in these type of things. I mean, I could still spawn it on this one, 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 this one. Like in a little plus shape size right here. Sign, plus size, plus sign shape sort of thing. But I just figured, nah. Um, but there, every place I go, if I drop it, where to drop in, I will make it to the center somehow or some way. So let's just watch us go through there. Take a left, yes. Take a right. And then I get to the middle here. Now I just have to decide what I want to do here. Um, I have a couple options, obviously. I could just dig this down one. Like dig all those down one and then put this whole platform down one type of thing. And then just have them go down here and then put signs right here and just have them drop in. Um, it's a little area. You know, I don't really know what I want to do with that yet. Um, but... Jack, <laughs> while I was building, Jack's like, hey, Cluster, what you doing? Where you at? Blah, blah. And I was like, is my name in the chest or what? Because I was thinking maybe he's going to come get me. Because he did that to Sugar that one time. Asked Sugar what he's doing and stuff when he went to go get him. But, uh, so yeah. Uh, but I'm going to decide what to do here. And once I get this, I got to, I, since I built this up higher now, I got to go make more glass. Gosh, dang it. This current is strong. Um, I got to go, nope. No, nope, yep, there you go. I got to go make uh, more stained glass and put that up around here. I got to go two more higher now. Um, two more high. And then I haven't decided what I want to do for the roof yet. Um, I can't decide if I want to do 
I'm kind of thinking black stain clay, and I'm even maybe thinking just doing the level of the uh, Rubik's Cube again, the roof of the Rubik's Cube, the same colors. Like do the, you know, obviously you know what I mean. I just take that level right there that I had as the top of the Rubik's Cube before and just put that up on top of this, um, which is probably what I'll end up doing just so it, just so it looks good. Um, but yeah, so I will... Uh, I'll go make that glass and stuff and get all the clay ready. Oh my gosh, I about had a heart attack. <laughs> Sugar came to pay me pay me his diamond. So he, Sugar paid me for killing him earlier. And oh my gosh. <laughs> I was sitting here, I was uh, minimized, had the game minimized because I was checking, reading something. And I heard, Tunk, and I knew it was an ender pearl. I was just standing up here. I thought someone was coming to kill me. I got so scared. It was ridiculous. But anyways, where did he go? I thought he enderpearled this way, didn't he? Huh. Maybe he went back that way. Anyways, so we got mobs at least spawning like around here. See that guy right there? Uh, while I was standing, when I enderpearled over here in the first place, there was um some... Uh, there's uh, two zombies over here, so, I mean, the mo spawn rates aren't awesome for a couple reasons, obviously. It's only one level, um, obviously, and I don't have, you know, I don't have all the area lit up around here, which I will probably work on after this episode. And then, uh, you know, it's just, like I said, it's only one level, and I don't know how well I have the caves directly below me lit up. I'll probably have to do a little bit of cave explorations to light everything up. Um, but, yeah, let's go down and just see what's all in here. Woo! So we got this one guy. I thought I seen a second guy. Didn't I see a second guy? Nope. Just the one guy. Oh well. So we have one guy in here. Uh, which is perfectly fine. Like I said, I'm not expecting huge. I don't want to get huge rates out of it at all. You know, I just wanted. I just want to have it kind of serve a. a you know, have the Rubik's cube instead of just being. You know, pretty worthless. I want it to actually serve a purpose, and that's just why I made it up here. I know it serves a purpose of housing the quartz blocks right now, but I wanted it to have like a functional purpose. Um, so yeah, we're gonna work on that and uh, decide what we want to do with uh, dropping those in. All right, so we got a guy here. Finally, look, man, this thunderstorm has been going on and going on, and it is thunderstorming. Thunderstorming, thunderstorming, thunderstorming. Look at it. Just listen to it. I love it. That's why I'm up here. That's why I'm in the plains. I love it. All right. What should we name this guy? Oh, what am I doing? I got to put a name on the name tag first. I don't know what to name him. Yes, it's still night. We were trying to sleep, but it didn't work. Um, what should I name it? Um... Oh my gosh, what should I name it? Um, um, <laughs> should I name it, uh, should I name it, uh, zombie? It's a zombie pigman. Let's name it, uh, Zig. Let's name it Zig. Zombie pig. <laughs> Zig. This guy's name is Zig gonna name you Zig. Welcome to the family, Zig. How's it doing? How's it doing? How's it going? You're not gonna stay there, but that's just where you were when I saw you. So now you're trapped. Your name is Zig. There you go. What's up, Zig? Hi, Zig. How you doing? Let's, um, hmm. We should give you some stuff, like some boots. I'll give you that stuff later. So let's go check this out. Oh, I, you know what? I got to do something before we go check it out. Okay, so what I needed was this lime stained glass. You might be thinking, yeah, but there's a set of armor. Nope, I haven't. Kaniva's in the games. He's just asking me if I'm going to kill him because there's no armors, which means someone might not have put it back. I don't know. But I hope you guys, I like this. I thought it was a sweet, nice, cool idea. I dug out the center of this so that I could have the mobs drop in under there. I thought that'd be a cool addition. But this is, look at, I just think this is so cool. I was like, let's extend the green and look at it. When you put that lava in there, it just like, yeah, boom, it just brightens it up. Oh, it's sleep. I can. Um, but yeah, so that's what, that's what I needed. I needed more glass 
needed more sand to get more glass to be able to do this. I'm using panes. Just, I don't know. I feel like panes are just, I don't know. Maybe since they're thinner and you can like see depth in them, they look, I don't know. There's just something about panes that I like using them for a lot of things compared to actual glass blocks. I don't know. Just me. Just me. Oops, that might have been too far. I don't know if I can reach. Can I reach? I can. Sweet. So I'm just going to do this for a little bit. And I'm going to end up, uh, once this is all said and done, I'm going to end up, I already put one lava there so that they f take extra damage when they fall. But I don't know for sure if spiders can climb glass or even glass panes for that matter. Um, so... I, I guess, so like I said, because there will be spiders that we do have spawn. Um, so what I'm going to end up doing is once I get down down there, I think right, right at the iron level, so two above it, so other mobs can stand there. Um, but, well, I'm hoping that they'll be dead by the time they get there. <sighs> Oops. But So I'm going to end up putting, I think, lava there again, and so that... In case if any spiders do come down, and if they're not dead when they get down there, that they can climb up, or if they, if they can try climbing up, then they'll end up uh, burning. Up, they'll end up burning themselves back to death anyways. So that's the plan. It might interfere with the actual falling of the mobs, which wouldn't necessarily be a good thing. So I'm gonna just finish this up. Um, so that lava can stay. I was going to put that second lava down there, but I went and tested it out. Won't work. Um, <laughs> but we have a little bit of a problem. The mobs are not falling down. Why is that? Do I need to have the current... Do I need to have the current come down one, and then they'll come down? You know what? Let's go, let's go try that. I need to go get a fire resistance potion, though. Because, uh... Ooh, what's uh? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! How are you, how are you? You're not supposed to be alive in here. You are not supposed to be alive in here, dude. Right, let's put that down. Uh, make it up there. Nope. Okay, fine. <laughs> ah, he's gonna keep it. All right, that works. That works. That he's talking about my prank that I played on him the other day. Um. Because uh, he's just seen it now. Um, what am I looking for? Fire resistance. I need to go down, downstairs. Get myself a fire resistance potion right there. Ah, uh, splash will work. We'll just give ourselves a nice little splash of that. There we go. Perfect. Ah, yes. Okay, let's uh, let's go do this then. Let's go fix this thing. I'm assuming that will fix it, making it drop down one. Yeah, there we go. Yep. No, you guys go down. You guys go down. You guys go down. Go down. Go down. Go down. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. There you guys go. Okay. I need to, like, get up there. So then I can get some blocks on my bar. There we go. Then we can start making our way. Ooh, whoa, 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 whoa. Just calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Because they're trying to jump. That's what they're trying to do. So I, I think maybe if I take it down one level, we'll be good. Oh, hopefully that wasn't the source block. I don't think it was. All right, so let's take this. We want this to be like that, though. Um, do I have signs on me? Do I have any signs left? No, I don't. All right, let's... We got this, though. Let's, uh... Where'd my sign go? There we go. So we can just do, try plopping it. Yeah, come on. There we go. No, not, there's a couple signs around that have, that do have something like that. Which I think this will fix the issue I'm having, I hope. Hopefully it does. Uh, I guess, you know, I guess we'll find out here soon enough, so. Ooh. Yeah, there you go. Perfect. Hopefully causing them to go, I think, because... They're sitting here jumping is the problem. Is that what they're doing? So, I mean, hopefully that dropping them one like that. That should work, right? I mean, I thought the first one would work. Or do I have to... Huh. Or do I have to cut these out and stop the water flow there? Huh. 
Something spawn, please. Nope. I need to... This thing is really light, but I need to figure out what block level. Because the block levels are all below a 7. The BL is all below 7. But I have a feeling I need to have some other thing below 7, too. Like the SL, maybe, below 7. Because block light is, like, good for everything here. Ah, See, even the ones closest to here. We got a block light of zero, but I don't think, I don't think that's good enough. I think we need something else. So, uh, anyways, I thank you guys for watching. My name's VLSI, and I'm not moving. Why am I not moving? Because I still have all of this stuff right there. So, I thank you guys for watching. My name's VLSI. And I got an arrow in my eyeball. <laughs> Dream big.